to be making a card on my Cricut Mini. Now you don't need to use the Mini for this, it's just that's what I'm doing, but you can use any of your Cricuts. And I want to do a sort of exam result, well done for all the studying kind of card. So I thought it'd be really fun to do um, a bookworm and so I looked and I saw that Creator Critter had a really cute worm and so I wanted to use him. So I'm on the Cricut Craft Room. I'm going to be using Cricut Craft Room to set up this card. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my little worm. Now I have to say I was struggling on here to find him and what I didn't realise was he was actually on the shift. So if you click on the shift key for your little worm he's just down here he's not one of the main characters he's actually kind of like a uh, accessory character for the um, little bird so you click on him to put him on we've just got him at two and a half at the moment worry about sizing in a short while although i don't think i can tolerate all that red let's take that down a bit to a nice soft blue much nicer okay so then we want to do layer one and that's that one and then layer two which is that one okay that's all the layers on the worm I believe yeah so then the next thing I need to do is find my actual books now I'm not entirely sure where they are so I'm going to do an image search for that and do books I'm just going to put all the images up first and then I'll worry about positioning and sizing etc so I'm sure there's a pile of books somewhere I like that whoops let's give them a chance to because the key is not only to find the right books but to um, make sure it's in a cartridge I own which of course even though I've got all these cartridges it's bound to be on one I don't have oh goodness it keeps moving so what's that that's on autumn celebrations which I don't own okay locker talk I do and I like that one so let's click on that pop it on the mat and then go to locker talk here should have guessed it be on that one really shouldn't i okay I'm not sure if it's a main image or a shift image, so just having a little look. I'm sure there's a way of telling. I've never found it yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, so then I want to check if there's a layer. So it's that one there. Yep pop that in and I don't suppose it's any more they might have like a, a well done or something so I'm just gonna have a quick look because I hadn't thought of that yeah I don't think it's doing it for me on that one okay now the other thing that I had was paper dolls every day there was a little um, graduation paper doll Really ought to, oh, there it is, look, all along. I was going to say, I really ought to get the book out because it'd be easier, but anyway, I think we've done it now. So let's just pop that down. Yes, that's there. So I don't need that thing, whatever it is. Okay, we've got there, finally. Okay, so now we've got all our elements. As I say, I may or may not use that. So we'll pop that over to here for the minute. And I want to move my books for the minute. Oh, the shift part of the books. Oops. And I want to move the waterboard. Okay, so that's kind of six inches across by six there. So if we've got a 
I want a sort of five by seven card, so that's five there by seven, so that's quite a good size on the books. I'm going to sit my little wormy on top. I quite like that size of the little wormy as well. Let's move these bits over the way, out of the way. So just setting up to see the sizing of everything at the moment. And then he's going to have his little mortarboard on. So I'm just going to drag that a little bit bigger. There we go. So that's going to look cool. Okay, so that's all good. So... The only thing we changed the sizing of was the actual mortarboard. There's no layers for that. Um, as I say, I'm not sure. Let's put this down again a minute. I don't think I want that, so let's delete that. Whoops. Come on. Okay, so that's going to be black. Then that bit's going to be the whitey cream colour because that's the books. So they're going to be, they're the actual pages, so we can pop that down there. I think we'll do that. Since I think I'll do that in the white as well, actually, because then I can colour the actual books in rather than having them coloured. So that would be black. I need to duplicate that. How do I do that? Where is it? Hold on. Uh, copy and paste so that I want the little tassel in a different colour. So I'm going to get rid of the tassel on that one and then on this one I'm going to get rid of the mortarboard itself. So making sure all the little contours are hidden. It will let me. There we go. So now we've got those separate. So we want that over there. We want the mortarboard to be in black, so that will come up here as well. Just squeeze that in a bit better so it fits. And then our little worm is going to have two layers, so we need two different layers for that. So we put one in this corner. And I'll match the little tassel to that one so it brings that colour in and then I'll put the other colour down here and I'm probably going to go for green or maybe blues i probably go for greens I think so that separated those all out so now I need to pop my uh, pieces of paper coloured papers onto the mat and then we'll go across to the Cricut Mini and start cutting these out Okay, so I've um, loaded up my mat with all my papers and I decided to actually duplicate the book covers rather than colour them. I'm going to do them in blue and red and then I'm going to cut them up so I've got blue and red books and then I've got the white for the inside. And I also added a tag which says congratulations which was from the new arrival actually the new arrival cartridge so there's lots of different cartridges in this well, i think this is a medium cardstock i don't think it's massively heavy so i'm going to change that to a four and then it also said it also recommends that i have a, a pressure of four as well so i'm just going to double check that and that's on this little paddle here And then I'm just going to press cut on my PC and it should start off. And this black one is the only one that worries me slightly because it's um, thicker than the rest of them. So I'm hoping if it cuts through that then it will be fine. 
okay so that's all cut out and um, I'm gonna start putting that together in a minute I'll just show you what else I've done though I've taken a craft card which is a uh, five by seven and that's um, a pre-scored one that I have so it's got um, a craft envelope as well so that's quite cool I thought what I would do is I would pop this white through this spellbinders embossability which is numbers and letters um, and just emboss the white I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it with the numbers or the letters at the moment um, but I'm going to emboss that with this but um, because I think that would really bring it, it's like the school theme, the letters and stuff, so I'm going to do that. But first of all, we need to get our bits off the mat and start popping. So we're going to just start off up the top here. So we're going to pull the excess off first. And you can see that cut through it, and that's really quite heavy cardstock when it cut through nicely. And if you remember, I tend to leave my elements on the mat until I'm ready to stick because then I can remember what's what. Okay, so I'm going to get my uh, Cosmic Shimmer glue. This is a nice glue. I'm really liking it for these flat kind of um, sticking you know, as I like my um, gel glue for dimensional stuff. I'm really liking this Cosmic Shimmer. Okay, so then I'm going to pull my scallop circle and I just took a scallop circle, this was from New Arrival and I just took a scallop circle, this particular one was from um, Cricut Craft from Basics but any of the basic shapes, that's Daisy talking, um, any of the basic shapes will have a scallop circle so any scallop circle will Now do. we're going to pop this bit of glue on the back Take our circle, pop it in the middle here, making sure it's centred. You don't get much movement time with this uh, Cosmic Shimmer. It does dry clear, so you'll be fine on that. And there we go. So let me put it on my hand so you can see it. Great, I really like that. So we put that to one side. And now I'm going to do the little worm, I think. So let's get the black base and then we want the next layer I just pop the little eyes out that fell out um, that were cut out rather not fell out and then I'm just lifting off this and literally as I pulled that off all of that stayed behind it's such a good cutter I mean I really love this mini please that so look we're gonna put the two together there and then onto the black so it's gonna layer up so let's take this part So if any of you are thinking, do I want a Cricut, um, maybe you don't want the big machine to start with, I would say the Mini, compared to your um, Create or the Bug, the Baby Bug, is a really good choice because it's not so small. Being eight inches across makes a big difference. I started off with the Create and I changed it pretty fast to the bigger one, the pink one that you can see that I've got. Um, because I wanted that bigger width for the bigger projects you know like if you do a card or um, if you were cutting an envelope or something um, generally all your cards and things you would probably for the sizes that you want you'd probably get that okay on the mini you'd probably struggle with an envelope because it would end up with the, it would cut the envelope all right but it would end up making the card very small but uh, Gently, I would say pretty much everything. I mean, an envelope you could probably manage without doing if you had to, couldn't you? Um, so I would say that, you know, as a general rule, it's a pretty good machine and very effective cutter. And really, I love it because it's not very big on the table. And as I say, it cuts really well. It's my little worm. Me cute. I'm going to put some googly eyes on him, I think, but I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to let him set, and I'm just going to take my little mortarboard hat and the tassel. Now, I think I might use a little brad for that, and then I can move it. So let's have a think. Let's put a hole through here. And then a hole through my tassel and get a little tiny gold brad to pop through. And while I'm there, I shall go and get my googly eyes. 
got some little googly eyes and I'm just going to take some of my gel glue. Now you do, I think, need the three dimensional glue for this because it's got a dip of at least two layers through to the back layer of the black. So if you don't use a 3D glue, then it's going to um, just not sit up in any way. It's just going to come off, I think. And just taking the little eyes and popping them over your little bit of glue gel and then that will hold it nicely in place. Don't squish too hard because you don't want it coming out the edge. And also make sure they're even because you don't want it to look both side. And then just leave that to set. That looks really cute, doesn't it? Okay, so then I'm going to leave that to one side just to dry. Do the little mortarboard here. So through the tassel with my little gold brad and through the top of the hat and then just split the pin. Now I don't want it too tight, I want it to be able to be moved. Make sure that the, t the tails of my pin stick behind so if I do move that up in the air it's not a problem. Okay and then if we want we could add just a little bit of glitter onto that just to give it a little something something. This thing I need to do is the books. So what we've got here is we've obviously got white book um, pages here but I've also got the, the, the red outer and the um, in so that the covers are in red and in blue so I'm going to just peel those off and then I'm going to chop them up so that I can stick the well I'm just going to chop the blue up and put it on top of the red so that I can create different colors so of books so I want the bottom two in blue I'm just going to cut along this line here that's pretty much already done so that's not a problem you can just follow these lines so then that will go like that don't forget we're putting the white in and then I'm going to cut across the top here where that that cut line already is and make that a blue bit book on the top as well so that will go here and then by the time we put the white in I think that'll look really nice so you've got of bits of rubbish there so again let's get our glue here my pile of books I think that looks really fun so again the only thing I am going to do I'm just going to do it I just am going to get a pen I am I'm not going to chalk it but I want to add some little lines just to make it look like paper okay, so I've just got a pencil and I'm literally just going to Add in some book lines, paper lines. I'm hoping you can see. So it just gives it a little bit of more, because uh, otherwise it's just a little bit flat, I think. Okay, so that's that. I think that's all our elements done on there, so I'm just going to pop my mat away now. And then we're going to work on the actual card base. What I need to do is emboss this layer. So I'm thinking it's a great embossing folder. I'm really liking it, but I'm just trying to decide whether I want numbers or letters. I'm thinking the numbers are more distinctive, so I think I'm going to go with the numbers. So I'm going to stick that in there. And then I'm going to stick this through my um, brand calibre and I will be back to you in a moment. Okay, so I had a bit of a change of plan. I decided I didn't like the white. So I've changed this inside out and put the blue and red inside because I quite like that on the inside. I've cut a green piece to go down on here and then I recut and embossed the next layer, the white layer, but I did it in pale lemon to bring in the gold of the little tassel and just that extra colour. So now I'm not going to chalk this, I've decided. I'm just going to pop that down. So I'm just going to use my 3D glue gel here and just put glue gel on the back of my card. 
stick that in place on the green. The reason I haven't stuck the green down yet is because I am going to be putting some ribbon around. I so I've put that round like that, and then you can see when we place that on with the books, that kind of comes in. And then if I use some, I was just looking between red ribbon and white ribbon, and I think the red ribbon. So if I just put a piece of that around, I think further down, so it's through the blue. It's about there, I think. Right. So let's just get a pair of scissors. I'm not going to create a bow or anything. I'm just literally going to pop it around the back. So just take that and I haven't got any glue runner at the moment, so a bit of tape I think we'll have to do. Oh, well, I'm doing it the hard way actually, that's silly. Okay, so stick that down like so, take it around and then stick it down on the back as well, whoops, like so. And then just double check that I'm happy with the position of that. So we reckon he's going to be about there, that's going to be about there, so I think that's going to look great. I may well actually end up doing a bow thinking about looking at it, but anyway, so that looks cool I think. Okay, so then let's stick this down onto the uh, background, and again with this because of the ribbon, I'm going to use my 3D glue gel, like so. really nice I think. So let's give this some 3D look so just using blobs of glue gel quite a lot by the looks of it even for me <laughs> and then turn that over and place that just about there because I want the blue books to have the ribbon going through it so let's just move that ribbon so it's straight. There we go. And unusually for me, I'm not pressing it down too much, which is, so there is quite a reasonable amount of height on that, if I show you from above. So we've got a fair amount of height on that. And then lastly, I want to put his little hat on. That, I really only probably need some glue on the edge of the actual hat, because I don't need to particularly stick it to anything but his head. I don't think so. Let's just pop that in position just using my uh, Cosmic Shimmer Glue and then just put the little tassel up there like so. So that's looking good I think. Okay now I'm just looking at this. I was thinking that might look quite nice in the corner there just to finish that off and again I don't want that one particularly high I don't think on this one so we're putting some gel glue on because of the dimension of the embossing but I don't want actual let's height. just try just like a knot bow rather than a bow bow and I'm thinking this side since everything's kind of over that side let's try it over here off I quite like it so far yeah I think that just finishes it off nicely yeah pleased with that okay so I think that's this little fella finished so as you can see we've used quite a number of different cartridges on here we've used our locker talk 
uh, Create a Critter and that was Paper Dolls then New Arrival and Cricut Craft from Basics plus we used the embossing folder from Spellbinders so quite a lot of different things going on and yet hopefully you'll agree it's just come out as a really cute in a way quite a simple looking card that's how it looks so I hope you guys like it I'd love to hear your comments and um, I'll see you all again next time thanks for watching bye Thank you.